evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you've enjoyed the wonderful music by Sabona Music Jam as you entered. Welcome to the Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Awards Ceremony. I'd like to begin by extending a special welcome to our Chancellor, Professor uh, Dr. Pumsile Mlambo Nguka. I'd like to welcome the Vice Chancellor, members of MEC, our DVCs, academic Professor Khan, Professor Sarah Gravit, Professor Rufilwa, Rufilwe Paswana Mavuya. I'd like to welcome other members of the MEC, Prof. Bettine, Van Fieren, members of ELG, the Executive Leadership Group, members of Senate, as well as the award winners and the families. Welcome to this wonderful evening and hopefully we will make some magic this evening. Traditionally, VC awards, the term awards derives from centuries ago when in military warfare, they would give awards for whichever battalion or group won an award. And that's the origins of, from Greek and Roman history that the concept of giving awards began. We're not a military zone, this, uh, thank God. Um, and this has slowly penetrated into society where we recognize and celebrate excellence. And this evening is about the celebration of excellence. I did forget to introduce myself. I'm Professor Kirti Menon, and I'm the Senior Director for the Division for Teaching Excellence. And it is our great pleasure to have you all here this evening. So, as we begin the evening, we are going to commence with me inviting our very own Vice Chancellor, Professor Litlokwa Mpedi, to address us. And he will then be followed, as per the program, for the various awards so that we don't go on tripping up and down the stairs. Uh, but uh, this evening is about our university. Since 2008, these awards have been part of the history of our very young, very vibrant university that's 19 years old, heading for 20, and uh, we are going to be celebrating that with a great zest next year. But um, these awards since 2008 have celebrated excellence in teaching, in research, in innovation, in service, in the call for duty. And we are absolutely delighted that you have all been able to come to this event this evening. Professor Impedi, can I call you up? Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, uh, Professor Kirti Menon. Um, our Chancellor, Dr. Pumzile Mlambonguka, um, members of the UJ Council present here today, um, the Honorable Alexis uh, Dafuro, um, guest of our Chancellor, and um, where's the other guest of the Chancellor? We didn't talk <laughs> enough that I could get your name, but you're welcome. She's a proud uh, um, um, uh, Rhodes uh, uh, person like our 
one CFO, I don't see when I look to the left hand side, that I said to her, uh, it's the same curriculum, just different campus, and I felt so great that we could put on that UJ gown on her. Uh, on her. Welcome, you're yeah, very much welcome. Members of ELG, um, our awards uh, recipients uh, this evening, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor, it's, sorry, it's my great honor to welcome you all to the great University of Johannesburg uh, this evening as we recognize and honor exceptional members of our institution. You know, I was checking that we don't have vice chancellors from other universities hanging around here looking at these exceptional people. The next thing they try to poach, you know. <laughs> so I hope this uh, broadcast, what you are recording, is delayed, you know, so that they don't try and, and, and keep notes and poach, you know, because I'll do that. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an African proverb that I'm reminded of. It says, a man who pays respect to the great paves the way for his own greatness. For the purpose of this evening's celebration, I will reorient this slightly and argue that an institution that pays respect to the great paves the way for its own greatness. This is really an embodiment of this evening. It is often forgotten, ladies and gentlemen, that universities are only able to soar to great heights because of the individual's work, or for the individuals who work tirelessly to realize the institutional vision. Beyond this, there is a remarkable spirit of innovation that guides this process. At UJ, ladies and gentlemen, we proudly claim to reimagine the future. We say we are not scared of the future because we are reimagining it. This is only possible with a cohort of staff who continuously push boundaries and seek to make a tangible difference. And so, ladies and gentlemen, this evening is a celebration of you, you know, our award recipients. Of course, you can't do this alone, you know. Your loved ones that are here, the sacrifices, we celebrate them as well. And your colleagues that cheer and encourage you, we celebrate them as well, as well as um, your leaders, of course. When people get awards, we celebrate with them. You must see me when people talk about the UJ choir. My family says, you are choir. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so your success today, when we celebrate you, you know, you'll see, you know, we, we stand up like we own this world because you indeed um, did us proud. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening is about celebration of innovation and excellence. The former United States Secretary of State Colin Powell once said, open quote, if you are going to achieve excellence in big things, you develop the habit, the habit in little matters. Excellence is not an exception. It is a prevailing attitude, close quote. Ladies and gentlemen, as we recognize excellence in our institution this evening, we do so knowing that it is built upon the consistent everyday dedication of our community. Our very own uh, Dr. Ndibu Luruli says, and I saw her, she's right there raising her hand. She says, at UJ, we don't say all protocols observed. We say all excellence observed. <laughs> and this evening, we will observe excellence, ladies and gentlemen. Each decision, each incremental improvement, and each commitment to innovation reflects our institution's ethos of excellence. Remember, all excellence observed, ladies and gentlemen. This evening's celebration is thus not just about individual's achievement, but about a shared pursuit of greatness. A culture where striving for the best in every task is the norm and not the exception. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to celebrate your achievements this evening and I thank you for your commitment to the university and for constantly and continuously embodying our vision of reimagining the future and doing so with societal impact. Just as I began, so I must end with an African proverb. You know my love for African proverbs. 
As it is said, ladies and gentlemen, success is not just about what you accomplish in your life. It's about what you inspire others to do. Undoubtedly, as your achievements demonstrate, the true hallmark of greatness is not only reaching new heights, but inspiring others to climb with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. Please let's enjoy this great evening at the great University of Johannesburg. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, it is my honor to present two categories of uh, awards this evening, both within the portfolio of education slash teaching and learning. So the first award category is the Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Most Promising Young Teacher. This Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Most Promising Young Teacher highlights the valuable contributions of early career academics to advancing teaching excellence quality and learning outcomes at UJ over the past three years. This award acknowledges the potential shown by young lecturers and offers resources and opportunities to support their growth into consistently high performing lecturers who positively impact students and colleagues alike. Now we have three recipients of this particular award. And the first recipient is Dr. Helen Angumba and she is from the Faculty of Education. Dr. Helena Gumba, I, I would encourage you to, to applaud frequently. So Dr. Helena Gumba, a talented and passionate lecturer in the Department of Education and Curriculum Studies, has made remarkable strides within just a year of joining the faculty, earning her the most promising teacher award. Tasked with transforming the challenging second year methodology and practicum module, historically marked by high attrition and failure rates, Dr. Agumba courageously redesigned it into an engaging and inclusive curriculum that has already yielded impressive results. Through her innovative use of diverse assessment tasks, technology and active student engagement, she significantly reduced failure rates and improved student success. Praised as excellent, supportive, and approachable, Dr. Agumba has inspired her students and colleagues alike, embodying a commitment to teaching that excites and empowers future educators. Congratulations, Dr. Agumba, on this well-deserved recognition. of this particular category of award is Dr. Nadira Sidat. She hails from the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment. Dr. Nadira Sidat has quickly distinguished herself as an exceptional educator in the Department of Chemical Engineering Technology, winning the Most Promising Teacher Award for inspiring student-centered approach. Her students consistently describe her as supportive, knowledgeable, and genuinely caring, with one noting that she is by far the best lecturer I have ever had at UJ. Dr. Siddharth's commitment to a humanizing teaching philosophy 
and pedagogy of care shines through in her innovative methods, including journal entries to support students' mental well-being, real-life problem-solving tasks, and initiatives like the Global Engineering Without Borders project. Dr. Siddharth's dedication to fostering both academic excellence and personal growth exemplifies the transformative power of compassionate teaching. Congratulations, Dr. Siddharth, on this well-deserved recognition. Final recipient of this award in this particular category is Dr. Megan Finn from the Faculty of Law. Uh, Dr. Megan Finn's remarkable blend of legal expertise and commitment to social justice has earned her the most promising teaching award. She hails from the Department of Public Law. Drawing from her experience as a constitutional law clerk and attorney, Dr. Finn seamlessly integrates practical insights with academic rigor helping students breach theoretical learning with real-world application. Her constructivist approach encourages students to engage critically with legal challenges, fostering empathy, problem-solving skills, and a deep commitment to social change. Students and colleagues alike describe her as brilliant, insightful, and empathetic, with her impact reaching far beyond the classroom. Congratulations, Dr. Finn, on this well-deserved award. category of award within the portfolio of education is the Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Teacher Excellence. The Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Teacher Excellence recognizes individual academics who have made significant, lasting contributions to teaching excellence and impactful learning. Through exemplary practices, these academics inspire students and colleagues. Our first recipient of this award is Professor Dustin van der Haar from the Faculty of Science, and he hails from the Academy of Computer Science and Software Engineering. Professor Dustin van der Haar's journey from his early fascination with township, township arcade games to an award-winning educator is a testament to his commitment to transformative student-centered learning. Blending attri attribution learning with agile project management he addresses students' diverse needs and closes technological gaps to ensure equitable success. In his classes, students engage in real-world problem solving, often aligned with the UN Sustainable Development Goals, fostering critical thinking and collaboration. 
admired as an incredible lecturer and brilliant supervisor, Professor van der Haar is dedicated to empowering the next generation of computer scientists and pushing the technological frontier. Congratulations on this well-deserved award, Professor van der Haar. of this award is Professor Jeffrey Vaughan Lautenbach from the Faculty of Education and he hails from the Department of Science and Technology Education. Professor Lautenbach, a thought leader in learning technologies, turned the challenges of COVID-19 into an opportunity for innovative education, creating an engaging virtual classroom where his students could collaborate and thrive under his expert humane guidance. With over 20 years dedicated to advancing ICT in education, including developing the first fully online undergraduate module and pioneering digital curriculums, he embodies a connectivist philosophy that promotes transformative, collaborative learning and lifelong skills. Known for his passion, wit and inclusivity, Professor Lautenbach is celebrated by students and colleagues alike as a master educator who fosters a supportive, dynamic environment. Congratulations on this well-deserved award, Professor Lowe. Our final recipient of this award in this category is Professor Dumasani Sabia from the Faculty of Humanities, the Department of African Languages. Professor Dumasani Sabia's innovative and inclusive approach to teaching Isizulu makes him a transformative educator. Using engaging methods like Kwaito music to introduce grammar concepts he fosters a classroom where students connect learning with their lives, build confidence, and feel supported. A distinguished author and literary scholar, Professor Sabia introduces students to African literature, often collaborating with them to publish work, including a book of Isizulu proverbs. Committed to decolonizing knowledge, he teaches exclusively in Isizulu and has translated course materials demonstrating the language's relevance in modern careers. Congratulations, Professor Sevilla, on this well-deserved award. We are proud of your contributions to UJ and beyond.
Good evening, guests, colleagues. It is my privilege, so my name is Sarah Gravett. I'm the Acting Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation. And it's really my huge privilege to announce the winners within my domain, meaning research and innovation tonight. Now, the first one is the Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Outstanding Researcher of the Year. And the recipient is Professor Clinton Ayerboa, Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment, Department of Construction Management and Quantity Surveying. Prof. Clinton Ayerboa is an outstanding scholar in construction management, engineering management, and sustainable infrastructure at the University of Johannesburg. He currently holds the position of Interim Chair for the DSI NRF Research Chair in Sustainable Construction Man Management and Leadership in the Built Environment. He's also the Director of the Construction Industry Development Board or Center of Excellence. His research primarily addresses digital transformation and sustainability in the construction industry. Since joining UJ, he has authored and co-authored over 1,300 accredited journal articles, conference papers, and book chapters. He has also written 27 scholarly books published by leading academic publishers. These publications have advanced understanding of research areas such as the Fourth Industrial Revolution and its implications for construction processes and management. Furthermore, he has been involved in 12 edited books that explore the intersection of the fourth industrial revolution with construction industry development. His research impact is evident and reflected in his Google Scholar H index of 52 and Scopus index of 32. Something to strive for when you are a young upcoming researcher. As dedicated mentor, he has graduated over 180 masters and 78 doctoral students, many of whom have gone on to hold significant roles in both academia and industry. His mentorship plays a crucial role in shaping the next generation of leaders in construction management. And in addition to his academic research achievements, his commitment to capacity building extends beyond the classroom as evidenced by the more than 46 million in research funding he has attracted to date, including a grant worth of 380,000 euro uh, for, from the Sifa Auda NIPAT. Again, a wonderful contribution. His contribution has earned him a C1 rating from the National Research Foundation, and he frequently participates in global academic exchanges, serving as a visiting professor at several institutions, including the University of West, uh, University of West of, Engl of England, Bristol in the UK, Shandong University in China, and on our own continent, the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, and the Federal University of Technology, Akure in Nigeria. It is indeed a privilege for me to welcome uh, Prof. Ayuboa to uh, uh, receive this recognition for his work. privilege to announce the Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Innovation of the Year. And this 
the award goes to Prof. Mtokozizi Similane of the Faculty of Science Department of Biochemistry. Prof. Similane is an associate professor in the Department of Biochemistry within the Faculty of Science, leading research on phytochemical investigation of ind indigenous med medicinal plants. His research group focuses on isolating and characterizing bioactive compounds for the development of ethno-pharmaceutical drugs with a primary focus on treating chronic diseases such as diabetes, cancer, and parasitic infections. His research has significantly advanced the scientific understanding of medicinal plants. The work has also led to the development of a patent aimed at diabetes management, reflecting his commitment to translating laboratory discoveries into practical, marketable products. He has also developed a prototype for diabetes management derived from the patent with, with plans for commercialization of the product. Prof. Milani has a passion for community development. In his product development, he has formed partnerships with local communities and established a benefit-sharing agreement, ensuring that the community also benefits from the commercialization of indigenous knowledge systems. He has authored and co-authored over 40 peer-reviewed publications in high-impact journals, enhancing the visibility and impact of his work in both national and international scientific communities. His achievements have been recognized through numerous prestigious awards, including being named a 2024 finalist in the Business Ethics and Impact category of the Leaders in Innovation Fellowship program offered by the Royal Academy of Engineering in the UK, and winning the 2023 GAP Biosciences Award for his contribution to biotechnology and innovation. In recognition of his innovative work, Prof. Milani was offered the opportunity by Oxford University to participate in the AFOX Innovation and Entrepreneurship Scheme. Prof. Milani's career is marked by his dedication to product development and his ongoing efforts to bring phytomedicine innovations to the forefront of healthcare. He is indeed a recipient that needs to be uh, awarded for the work that he's doing so well. Vice Chancellor's Distinguished Award for Book of the Year. And the recipient is Dr. Sapiu Mahala from the Faculty of Humanities, the Department of English. Dr. Sapiu Mahala is a prolific writer, playwright, and academic. He's a senior lecturer in the Department of English at the University of Johannesburg. His research interests include contemporary African literature, colonial and post-colonial literature, black intellectual history, African oral literature, short story writing, and creative writing. He's the author of the award-winning novel, when, when a Man Cries, which he translated in Isikosa under the title Yakala in Dota. He also penned two short story collections. African Delights and Red Apple Dreams and other stories. I must say I was fascinated by these titles. Red Apple Dreams seems like a book that one needs to read. Um, and two critically acclaimed plays, The House of Truth 
and, and Bloke and his American Bond to another very productive, but a provocative title. In 2016, African Delights was listed by The Guardian as one of the top 10 must-read books in the world. So I can assure you it's on my reading list for this December. You will see the numerous awards that uh, Dr. Mahala has uh, received, and I'm not going to repeat them. You have them in, in uh, your uh, program. Let me say more about the book, the winning book. The winning book, Can Temba, The Making and Breaking of the Intellectual Tsotsi, offers a definitive study on the iconic drum era journalist and writer. Dr. Mahala's intensive research features unprecedented archival access and interviews with Can Temba's surviving colleagues and family. It presents a critical historical approach to Temba's life and writing from his early beginnings uh, in Marabastad to his somber end in exile in Swaziland. The book weaves together the better known elements of his life, his political views, passion for teaching and mentoring, and family life with an examination of his literary influences and the impact of his writing on modern African writers. Dr. Mahala deftly follows the threads of Temba's dynamic life, showing his intellectual acumen, scholarly aptitude and wit, along with his flaws, contradictions and heartbreaks against the backdrop of the sparkle and path pathos of 1950s Sophia Town. This book was a joint winner of the Creative Nonfiction Award of the 
and Durham University, has also held visiting professorships at Copenhagen Business School and the University of St. Gallen, and was an EECPL participating professor at Harvard University. His primary research interests are strategy, internationalization, entrepreneurship, and innovation. In 2022, Wirtschaft Woche, a leading German financial magazine, ranked him second in the current research achievements category for the second consecutive year, highlighting his impact among German-speaking business and management professors. He also ranked in the top 10 of for lifetime achievement. Clarivet has included him in the global list of the top 100 most impactful researchers in economic and business, account, uh, according to the Web of Science highly cited researchers report for 2022 and 2023. As of October 2024, Prof. Krauss holds a Google Scholar H index of 113 and has accrued 45,381 citations. That is indeed inspiring. With over 10,000 citations in the past year alone. In Scopus, he has published 398 documents with an H index of 79. He also holds a B1 rating awarded by the National Research Foundation, highlighting his standing as a researcher known for substantial contributions. Prof. Krauss has made invaluable contributions to the field through his rigorous research, exceptional publication record, and international teaching experience. It is indeed a privilege to have somebody from his caliber as a distinguished visiting professor within the University of Johannesburg, and uh, we look forward, CBE, to the celebrations next year when he comes to visit. Thank you. Good evening, distinguished guests, colleagues, friends. It is a great honor for me to introduce the recipients of the Vice Chancellor's Service Beyond the Normal Call of Duty Awards. These awards are dedicated to acknowledging the outstanding efforts and exceptional service of our professional support staff who go above and beyond their regular duties. At UJ, we firmly believe that the success of our institution is built not only on academic achievements, but also on the unwavering commitment of our professional support teams. These colleagues are the backbone that keep our operations running smoothly, the hands that guide our students, and the heroes who continuously strive to create an environment conducive to research, to learning, and to innovation. The Vice Chancellor's Service Beyond the Normal Call of Duty Award seeks to honor those who have demonstrated an exceptional work ethic beyond what is expected, innovative problem solving, and an unwavering dedication to the university's mission. It is a testament to their invaluable contributions, which often go unseen, but which are deeply felt across the university community. The first um, recipient this evening is Mr. Bongani Sene. Bongani embodies the values and principles of UJ, consistently delivering service that goes beyond what is ordinarily expected of him in his capacity at the UJ Art Gallery. And I'm sure for those of you who have UJ Art in your office, You've seen him walk in and make sure that you're not walking out with the UJ art. <laughs> His dedication um, contributed to the gallery's recent accolade of winning the award for best visuals at the University of the Free State, the award ceremony held there. Bongani's diligence and efforts to make an impact extend beyond the gallery 
as demonstrated by his recognition by the Premier of Gauteng in 2023, um, or the 2023 Gauteng Youth Economic Growth Award. His prestigious award acknowledges the positive and lasting impact that he has on students, on fostering growth and development in the arts at UJ as well as beyond. And this, of course, speaks to our strategic plan um, that is dedicated to societal impact. As a former Remember and Give, or a RAG chairperson, Bongani has also contributed and been instrumental in helping students uh, with, within a personal capacity development program. Ladies and gentlemen, his contributions to the arts, both at UJ and beyond, make him a worthy recipient. She has played a key part in the development and the implementation of the postgraduate application ranking system or the ARSH system which was rolled out earlier this year. The postgraduate ARSH system um, has transformed the university selection process for postgraduate students by streamlining our workflows and thereby improving efficiency. This system essentially reimagined how at the University of Johannesburg we handle postgraduate selections. Durette played a crucial part in testing the system at faculty level even before implementation, taking on this duty outside of her normal functions within the College of Business and Economics where she's also the head of faculty administration. In addition, Durette was um, instrumental in training staff at faculty um, level on this new system, and that I think direct could not have been easy, um, ensuring a smooth transition and empowering UJ staff to utilize the system confidently. Her dedication to the system's development and comprehensive staff support is worthy of recognition as it combines a solid technical knowledge of system supporting the academic project with an exceptional ability to communicate and to teach. Direct, well done. recipient this evening is Ms. Precious Maputles and her contribution to the Faculty of Engineering and the built environment are exceptional and deserving of recognition beyond the standard performance management process. Her leadership and coordination of key sustainable and innovative projects including the um, very famous by now 3D printed housing project, the 4IR lab, and the ongoing UJ Societal Impact Project in the Limpopo province have directly advanced Phoebe and I dare say the university, um, university's quest for global excellence and stature, linked of course also to societal impact. 
She was also recently recognized as a winner in the 2023 Male and Guardian Power of Women Awards in the category Governing Women, as well as by the Junior Chamber International, the Santon Chapter for Future Leader Certification. In addition, she has been shortlisted as a nominee in the 2025 Women of Stature South Africa Awards. Her contributions to furthering and foregrounding societal impact at the university and also at the Faculty of Engineering in the built environment makes her a worthy recipient. Precious, where are you? <laughs> Chancellor, your support we do not take for granted. Um, Dr. Pumzilem Lambo Nuka, many of you would know, is um, um, the former uh, Deputy President of the Republic of South Africa. I say, and I realize you don't like this, I said this before, let me say it again, Chancellor. I say this is the first woman President of the Republic of South Africa we never had. Chancellor, we thank you for your support and everything. Chancellor of the great University of Johannesburg. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the Chancellor to the podium uh, to offer some closing remarks. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chancellor. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Chancellor, and good evening. Uh, first things first, a huge congratulations to all the winners. Thank you for the work you do, for the time you take to serve this university, and for inspiring not just the students, and your faculty, but all of us. All of us who have been here this evening, who have watched you pick up your awards, felt like we were part of your journey. Continue to do what you do, because it is truly because of people like you that the university standards can keep on getting higher and higher. To all the teams that are associated with these winners, thank you for being in their corner, for giving them the space, the support, so that we can get out of them everything they have and enjoy it with them. And thanks, uh, Vice Chancellor, for the support uh, that you give your team members, your staff, as well as uh, for just being you. It is just so nice to be in this environment where coming to the university is not a stiff thing. Where you go there, you just have to be in the straight and narrow. Today, we're here to celebrate, so we will chill. And congratulations. Thank you so much, Chancellor. This brings us to the close of the formal official handing over of prizes, celebrating your success, but it is the beginning of uh, an evening with some music, uh, as well as a wonderful Joburg evening with uh, a possible storm brewing, um, and a lovely dinner. But before I uh, close uh, the official proceedings, I'd like to firstly congratulate all the winners 
It's been an amazing journey reading portfolios and studying you have achieved. It's truly amazing. And so welcome to the UJ Galaxy of Stars. Uh, that is an awesome achievement. Kirti has thanked absolutely everyone. And she has mentioned how her team, Nalda, all of them within the various domains, the collective effort has allowed for us to celebrate and be part of this absolutely elevated and amazing event this evening. But it is Kirti's last event as program director and leading the event as the senior director for teaching excellence. Dr. Or Professor Menon is retiring at the end of the year. And so this is why it's her last event, if you were wondering. We had a <laughs> breakfast earlier in the week, myself and the senior directors, and we all took an opportunity to share what Kirti has meant to us and how she has impacted us and how she has tirelessly, without grumble, always with a smile, been willing to support every and any endeavor at the UJ. And we are in awe of her wisdom. Do not cry, Kirti, you're going to make me cry. Of her wisdom, of her contribution, and just absolutely everything she has meant to us and how she has played a critical role in driving not only the strategic plan, but almost every and any endeavor academic endeavor at the university. You will be missed. When we say that, many a time we just saying that. I want you to believe me when I say you will be missed. We appreciate you and absolutely everything you have done for the UJ. Can we give her a round of applause?